Hey everybody, Carl Sheffield here. I'm a product manager at Squid on the user success and evangelism team. In this video, I'm gonna talk about creating model conditions that are dynamic and they're based on a page URL parameter. So let me get over to uh, Squid Central here and I'm just gonna open, click a tab here and preview uh, the finished product. So I'm gonna type energy as a page URL parameter and click go. And what's gonna happen is we're gonna create a page URL parameter right here at the end of our URL. That way, when a user goes to a page with this type of parameter, they will either have the, um, the value entered through the app or they will have some way to enter that parameter. What we'll see on the page here is a, an unfiltered list at the bottom and then a filtered list at the top and that industry is what the accounts are filtered by here. Uh, let's get started back to Squid Central. I'm gonna go to the Compose tab here and click All Pages and I'm gonna clone a page where I can get started. I'll clone this one that is ready for me to start at the right place and I'll click clone and then I'll give this clone page um, a unique name and create clone page and then open that clone page. So um, here's the place where we can start. Notice that we've got a model and, and then a table in the canvas that uses that model. So let's start by going to the account list not filtered model and cloning that model. And when we clone a model in Squid, we get an exact copy. And um, what I'll do is go over to the model ID and I'll give that model ID a descriptive name. Um, I've called it uh, account list filter. So let's place a condition on that model so that we can um, actually have it live up to its name. All right. I'm going to click the plus button here to add a condition and I'm going to use the industry field. So I'll use the field picker over here in this grouping and go find industry in our list of fields. There's industry and I like the operator equals or is. Now clicking on the value uh, in the content property of this, I'm going to pick page URL parameter. Now, when I click that, uh, my properties change a bit and I'm able to name the parameter. I'm gonna use industry name, industry with a, a dash in the name here. And that's good for our parameter. So I'll click save. Now that we have a new filtered model, I wanna surface that data on the page so I'm gonna use the uh, squid shortcut to just double click on the model. I get the pop-up for create component and I'll choose table and I'll click create component. Now, what happened was a new table was added to the canvas below. I'm gonna take that table and give it a title. I'm gonna call it accounts filtered. And then I'm going to click Save. And then I want to move that, that table above the existing table right there. I'll save again. And then I will go ahead and preview the page. Here I'm prompted to enter the parameter. And the parameter's name is industry name as we gave it in the condition on the model. And I know from working with the sample data that there's, an, there's a value of energy in some of these records in the sample. So I'll click energy, I'll type energy here and click go. Now we've got that page where um, the top table component is filtered by energy and then the bottom table component is actually not filtered. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try another one. I'll, I know that electronics now is a value of, of the industry 
uh, field in these sample records. So I'll go back and preview the page again. Um, let me make sure I remember. Electronics. I'll preview this page again and type electronics. Here. Page renders and the top uh, table component is filtered down to just the records that have electronics in the industry field. Okay, so this is pretty powerful because what we can do now is pass records or pass um, values into a page URL parameter. So imagine if instead of our page URL um, being industry name, imagine that would be um, an ID value for say a contact or an opportunity. Um, then the, the page might have all the records uh, just filtered for that one, um, that one item in your page. Very powerful. This is great for building apps. Okay, I'll just uh, go ahead and summarize and say that we finished this one. We built a page with a, um, a model that had a condition using the page URL parameter. I hope you enjoyed this and got a lot out of it. I look forward to seeing you again on other videos. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.